Yeah. Well, she sneaks around the world from Kiev to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is I'm in San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it hard to go for a From the Red Sea to Greenland, they'll be singing the blues. Well, they never can saw her steal the meat come from the jungle. Tell me. Hello and welcome to Disney Movie Investigations. This is a bonus video covering where in the world is Carmen Sandiego along on where on earth is Carmen Sandiego. We've decided to do both because uh, they're very similar in concept. Uh, so for those of you that have never seen these videos, what we do is we just basically take a look at the production history, how it got made, as well as any future in impact it had. And with these bonus videos, we look at the different television shows for that were specifically made for kids. Um, so the, what we're covering, like I said, is where in the world is Carmen Sandiego. And this originally aired on September 30th, 1991, and it uh, lasted until December 22nd, 1995. <clears throat> and it was a PBS show, so it was featured on public access television that was all throughout the United States and Canada. And it was developed by Howard Blemfeld, uh, Dana Cal Calderwood, and Dorothy Curley. And it was based on the 1985 computer game, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego? Um, and so this this television series had a total number uh, total number of episodes was two hundred ninety five. Um, so in general, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Is based on a is a half hour American children's TV game show, and the show was hosted by Greg Lee, and was he was joined by Lynn Thipen, who played the chief, and an a cappella group called Rockapella. Uh, so the chief uh, would be kind of like the headquarters, uh, the head person. And then Rockapella would be the ones providing musical cues as well as kind of doing sound effects throughout the show. Um, the series was taped in New York City uh, at Lifetime Studios. And the reasoning behind the show was that a National Geographic survey had showed that Americans actually didn't know a lot about geography. And they were so shocking. In fact, one in four could not point out where the Soviet Union was or where the Pacific Ocean was. Um, so the questions were um, the questions were verified by National Geographic World, so everything was up to date information. And yeah, so let's take a look at the the show. Um, so each episode consisted of three middle school contestants. They had to be between the ages of ten to fourteen years old, competing with each other, answering geographical related questions uh, to determine the location of one of Carmen's gang members. And eventually, they would get a chance to lead a chase of Carmen herself. Um, so, one, Carmen's henchmen, uh, the premise of the show is they would steal a national landmark. And then the a goal for the gumshoes, or the contestants, was that they would have to find the, not only return the stolen landmark, but catch the, the, the henchmen. So round one is the contestants would start off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And the they would have to answer a series of geographical questions. And these would be presented in action, live action, celebrity, musical, animated, and costume comedy sketches. Uh, where they would give hints about the, the current location of the, the henchmen. And uh, these were quite clever. Some of them... Rockapel would do so, uh, pop songs and replace the lyrics with clues. Uh, sometimes they've animated shorts. They even had some celebrities like um, uh, Sarah, Sally Jesse Raphael was a clue member. John Larroquette was uh, giving clues on these. So they got celebrities to take part in what, as well. And then um, a map with three possible locations would be given to the um, to the the contestants, and they would have to pick out which one was the correct answer. At the end of the first round, whoever had the mo whoever of the two contestants had the most points or Ac Acme Crime Bucks would go on to the next round. Uh, so round two, this was a memory challenge with 15 different landmarks and venues from the last known location of the 
henchmen in the first round. And each contestant would take turns flipping over a location looking for the three items, for three items in the correct order. So they needed to find the loot, the warrant, and then the crook. And the contestant who was able to first correctly find all three in the right order would move on to the bonus round. So finally, the bonus round. The final round gave the winning gumshoe a chance to win a trip to anywhere in North America. Um, so Carmen's henchman from the previous round would give the gumshoe the, con um, the continent that Carmen was located in. And so then the chief would then give 13 possible locations that Carmen may be hiding within that continent. And then the gumshoe would have to plate eight different markers on the map in 45 seconds. Uh, and this was a giant map and they had to run and make sure it was very hard to do. Like I, I watched like 10 episodes in preparation for this and I think only one or two ended up being able to do this. Um, so this was a very popular show. It received eight daytime Emmy awards and did in 1992 received a Peabody award. Um, there was a lost episode that is um, highly controversial. Is Unfortunately, during the giant map scene, one of the contestants slipped and broke her arm. Um, so what they did is they, the runner-up ended up replacing her on the map sequence and then did the, did the whole thing all over again. This was deemed in very poor taste, um, so the show never aired it. And I think they ended up settling, from what I read. They ended up giving her the trip anyways, um, just because she fell and broke her arm. Um, so yeah, this spawned, This was very popular. That It, it spawned a, a sequel game show called Where in Time is Carmen Sandiego? And this one isn't nearly as popular. It only lasted two seasons from October 7th. 1996 to December 12th, 1997. But it did lead to an animated series as well called Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego? And that's kind of the second show we're going to look at today. Um, so this originally aired from February 5th, 1994 and ran until January 2nd, 1999. And it was developed by Sean Rocky. And it released 40, it released 40 episodes before being cancelled. Um, so the show was aired on Fox Kids programming block on Saturday mornings. And each episode actually had to be have the script approved by Broder Bird, who was the owners of the Carmen San Diego franchise. And Broder Bird Bond was cons was concerned because of the violence of other Fox TV kids TV shows, such as the X-Men animated series, as well as Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So they just want to make sure that everything was suitable for kids. Um, and in terms of the plot, uh, Carmen Sandiego leads the organization Vile, V-I-L-E, in stealing treasures around the world and leaving clues for the detectives. So Acme agents Zack and Ivy, under the guidance of the chief, must return the horse, hor her must return the historical artifacts and capture Carmen. So what they would do is they would start out in most likely most of the time they start out in San Francisco and they would travel around the world. And each time they would travel around the world, they would give little facts about where they were traveling to, just kind of like little snippets. And then as well, to help kid teach kids about what they learned, um, they would have little trivia facts during the commercial breaks uh, to kind of help uh, keep it in the kids' memory as they watch the show. Um, so in terms of the voice cast for this, we had Rita Moreno as Carmen Sandiego, Roger Bumpus as the Chief, Jennifer Hale as Ivy, and for you Disney fans, she actually is the current voice of Cinderella right now, and Scott Manville was played, uh, was voicing Zach. And so each episode would begin and end as well with a live action computer player talking to Carmen through his computer. And it was just kind of like a bumper of like um, kind of setting up little clues about what the episode was going to be about. Um, so, yeah, the, these were great shows. I thought they were really good for teaching kids about geography, teaching kids about world, world culture. I just thought it was a really good way and it was educational, but it was also entertaining as well. There were several um, uh, different funny facts throughout both of them. Uh, they did go on to spar, spawn several um, other computer games, as well as they actually had a Carmen Sandiego comic 
that was released by DC as well. So something very, this was very popular during that, in that early 90s. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it for our Carmen San Diego. I want to give a shout out to Melanie, who was the one that suggested this for these videos. Uh, so thank you, Melanie. And in terms of this week's uh, artifact, there we go, lost for a second. Um, so I actually do have the DVD set, uh, the best of um, Where in the, on Earth is Carmen San Diego. So I thought I would show you guys that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for doing this video, for watching this video. I pre really appreciate the support. Our next in the bonus series is going, we're going to go back to the world of Ghostbusters. And we're going to look at the animated series, The Real Ghostbusters. So I will see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.